narrated by Abdullah. An Ansari man accused his wife, of committing illegal sexual intercourse. The Prophet peace be upon him made both of them takes the oath of Lian, and separated them from each other, by divorce. Narrated by Ibn Abbas. Hilal bin Umayyah accused his wife of illegal sexual intercourse and came to the Prophet peace be upon him to bear witness, against her, taking the oath of Lian. The Prophet peace be upon him was saying, Allah knows that either of you is a liar. Will any one of you repent, to Allah? Then the lady got up and gave her witness. Narrated by Sal bin Sa'd as Sa'di. But Wamir al-Ajlani came to Asim bin Ad al-Ansari and said to him, O oh Asim, suppose a man saw another man with his wife, would he kill him whereupon you would kill him, or what should he do? Please, O oh Asim, ask about this on my behalf. Asim asked Allah's messenger peace be upon him about it. Allah's messenger peace be upon him disliked that question, and considered it disgraceful. What Asim heard from Allah's messenger peace be upon him was hard on him. When Asim returned to his family, Bawamir came to him and said, O oh Asim, what did Allah's messenger peace be upon him say to you? Asim said to Awamir, You never bring me any good. Allah's messenger peace be upon him disliked the problem which I asked him about. Bawamir said, By Allah, I will not give up this matter until I ask the Prophet peace be upon him about it. So, Bawamir proceeded till he came to Allah's Messenger peace be upon him in the midst of people, and said, O oh Allah's Messenger peace be upon him. If a man sees another man with his wife, would he kill him, whereupon you would kill him, or what should he do? Allah's Messenger peace be upon him said, Allah has revealed some decree as regards you and your wife's case. Go and bring her. So they carried out the process of Lian while I was present among the people with Allah's messenger peace be upon him. When they had finished their Lian, Bawamir said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. If I should now keep her with me as a wife, then I have told a lie. So he divorced her thrice before Allah's messenger peace be upon him ordered him. Ibn Shihab said, so divorce was the tradition for all those who were involved in a case of Lian. Narrated by Ibn Juray. Ibn Shihab informed me of Lian and the tradition related to it, referring to the narration of Sal bin Sa'd, the brother of Bani Sa'di he said, an Ansari man came to Allah's messenger peace be upon him and said, O oh Allah's Apostle! If a man saw another man with his wife, should he kill him, or what should he do? So Allah revealed concerning his affair what is mentioned in the Holy Quran about the affair of those involved in a case of Lian. The Prophet peace be upon him said, Allah has given his verdict regarding you and your wife. So they carried out Lian in the mosque while I was present there. When they had finished, the man said, O oh Allah's messenger peace be upon him. If I should now keep her with me as a wife then I have told a lie about her. Then he divorced her thrice before Allah's messenger peace be upon him ordered him, when they had finished the Lian process. So he divorced her in front of the Prophet peace be upon him. Ibn Shihab added, after their case, it became a tradition that a couple involved in a case of Lian should be separated by divorce. That lady was pregnant then, and later on her son was called by his mother's name. The tradition concerning their inheritance was that she would be his heir and he would inherit of her property the share Allah had prescribed for him. Ibn Shihab said that Sal bin Sa'd as Sa'di said that the Prophet peace be upon him said, in the above narration, if that lady delivers a small red child like a lizard, then the lady has spoken the truth and the man was a liar, but if she delivers a child with black eyes and huge lips, then her husband has spoken the truth. Then she delivered it in the shape one would dislike, as it proved her guilty. Narrated by Al-Qasim bin Muhammad. Ibn Abbas, said, 
once Lien was mentioned before the Prophet peace be upon him whereupon Asim bin Adi said something and went away. Then a man from his tribe came to him, complaining that he had found a man with his wife. Asim said, I have not been put to task except for my statement, about Lien. Asim took the man to the Prophet peace be upon him and the man told him of the state in which he had found his wife. The man was pale, thin, and a blank hair, while the other man whom he claimed he had seen with his wife, was brown, fat and had much flesh on his calves. The Prophet peace be upon him invoked, saying, O oh Allah! Reveal the truth! So that lady delivered a child resembling the man whom her husband had mentioned he had found her with. The Prophet peace be upon him then made them carry out Lian. Then a man from that gathering asked Ibn Abbas, was she the same lady regarding which the Prophet peace be upon him had said, if I were to stone to death someone without witness, I would have stoned this lady? Ibn Abbas said, no, that was another lady who, though being a Muslim, used to arouse suspicion by her outright misbehavior.